Darren Anderton's first of the season, this burst by Robbie Keane. Unfortunate rebound from Arsenal's point of view, but Anderton didn't stop running. Fabulous finish. Great vision to see the chance coming. And Lehman had no chance in the finish. Tottenham lead, 1-0. the Gunners fans expected to see particularly so early in the game so and here's Henri and hit that off and Keller had to serve it now, did he see it late set up for Henri and it was a fair enough effort and uh, had Keller scrambling. Anderson. Henri winning it back. Gilberto. Parra. Jungberg under pressure. Tarico had it. Now Ledley King. Anderton. Keane laying it off, but uh, no one taking advantage. Jungberg struck long and early. Too long for Henri, is it? And he got the better of Carr. Henri still, the Keller saves once more at the expense of a corner. He made the angle so well, Henri, Keller had to go full length to uh, knock it away. Gilberto. Tirico's headed away. Lauren and his feet in a bit of a tangle under pressure with Koncheski and here's a chance for Postiga Postiga stopped by Lehman and a free kick against uh, Postiga for the subsequent challenge on Lehman the goalkeeper showing his displeasure Mark Halsey keeping the peace we want to have a word with uh, Postiga Lehman uh, claiming that Postiga followed through on it but he's definitely not offside. It's very close, but he's not offside. He gets through, and Keller comes out and up, puts him up in the air. So it, it was. It, it, ooh, you can see. No one back by Gardner. It's Dalma. That should be straightforward enough for Laura, but he's put pressure on again. And Lehman comes to the rescue, but not for the first time in this match, and it's still not away. Lauren puts pressure on Arsenal by dilly dallying out there in the right back position. That was dreadful play by the fullback and nearly put Postiga in. Henri trying to play the clever little ball in, put further pressure on Keller. Now it's Gilberto. Canu. Pass Dalma, Canu. Keller had his angles right. Seemed to take a little touch there on the way through off Gardner, but nope. So he's uh, got a few things to discuss at halftime, Arsene Wenger. There's the whistle to end the half. The half that began in sensational style. Darren Anderton profiting from a fortunate rebound of Robbie Keane to burst through and plant it past Jens Lehmann and make it at halftime at Highbury. Arsenal nil, Tottenham Hotspur one. It's Robbie Keane who sets the second half in motion at Highbury. Darren Anderton's goal in the fifth minute. Creating that rather surprising scoreline. Five Allen. Great. Gilberto. But Ledley King giving him no room at all. I think Tottenham's midfield deserve credit for the way they have refused to let Arsenal play in that area. Lindbergh goes down. Uh, Tolico came across him. And brought him down. Tolico says it's... Uh, shoulder I used but uh, Mark Halsey reckons it's another card that's been earned it's four for Tottenham now Tarico uh, shouldered him in the chest and that's why he he got the card 
Here is sweeping it in. Oh, and an opportunity for Arsenal has gone a begging. It's going to be a corner. The free kick uh, causing all manner of confusion in there. And it was Gardner who stretched out to prevent it reaching Saul Campbell. This time it's Kanu who's brought down by Dalma. Plenty of height for Arsenal in the area as Pires prepares to take the kick. Well, they got uh, Gilberto on the end of it, but uh, the header went over the top. Credit the player for uh, getting the unobstructed header, but didn't direct it onto the goal. Dalma. Konczewski's cross and uh, that came up and stuck Anderton uh, Campbell forced to put it away and it's a corner to Tottenham it is Henri Cole Wimberg Neil's little touch but it had to uh, Keller scrambling, but there was nobody in red to put him under pressure. And we reach the midpoint in the second half, and Tottenham's goal survives intact in the final quarter of the game. And Arsenal, in the second half, have really struggled to make any impact. A couple of chances for only in the first, saved by Keller. Henri's outside, though, this time. Henri against Keller. Henri saved by Keller. Perez! And it's what a piece. Well, it was a very long time coming. And Tottenham may well feel that Henri was offside. Henri, who uh, would have fancied to finish it against Keller, but he couldn't. But Perez has. But the key to this is, was Henri offside? And now that Arsenal have got back, they're time enough to do better. Ooh, very close. Carr, I think, played him onside. And when Keller saved it, Perez was following up. But a close, close call. But Henri waited for the whistle that never came. Keller did well enough to block it, but uh, they couldn't deal with the onrushing Perez. And Robert Perez scores his fourth Premiership goal of this campaign. And Arsenal are level. Well. Just when it seemed that they weren't going to find any way through, it took one of those swift breakouts at which they are so at it to pull Tottenham apart and create the goal. What a piece. Tottenham have done so well, now have to try and find another lead goal. Third count. Henri up at his chase again. Sirico, but it was, uh, in fact, Gardner who was penalised. Here, this is rolled for Henri. Reflection. Arsenal have the corner. A few little uh, fiery incidents potentially bubbling up, but Mark Halsey on top of it as Arsenal have got themselves a corner. will take as usual now come to their camp Lundberg trying to get in there a little nudge came as uh, we went to head it and Tottenham protest but uh, the referee's given a corner which I think is uh, somewhat uh, bizarre this time the corner taken by Anderson they wanted it at the near post Tottenham, but uh, goal kick is the outcome. Redley King it was.
couldn't direct it onto the goal. Stalmar. Touré making it open for him. He's found Postiga. Touré, a bad count. Now Canu, only ahead. Canu, Jungberg. Deflection, it's there! It's there! Freddie Jungberg's speculative efforts has looped up over Casey Keller. And it's 2-1 to Arsenal. And this game has been turned on its head. 12 minutes to go. Freddie Jungberg puts the Gunners in front. And what began from the fourth minute to be an action to save an unbeaten record now looks like turning into a pursuit of three points. Canu fitting Jungberg. Jungberg speculating on the shot. It rebounded off Stephen Carr, who had played Ori onside for the first goal. And so the Tottenham captain is responsible in some part for Arsenal taking the lead and Freddie Jungberg gets his first goal at Highbury since he scored against Tottenham in the corresponding fixture last season. Carter intercepts. Jungberg. Jungberg again and he's fouled, it's another free kick and more seconds that will be more valuable to Tottenham have been lost, Ledley King's challenge he seemed to trip himself there but the referee saw it as a free kick to Arsenal and now they're um, they're happy to keep the possession Pires in the final minute, the third of stoppage time or additional time. Throw in to come from Carr. Tottenham would wish to spend this time nearer the Arsenal goal, but Arsenal had the possession back. eating up those seconds towards the final whistle and what in the circumstances will be three unlikely points for Arsenal but have fancied them very very heavily against a team that hasn't won on this ground for ten years and now they're battling for a point but it certainly seems as Arsenal's unbeaten record is uh, maintained it certainly is the final whistle sounds Arsenal finished strongly and conclude with a victory which for a long period looked unlikely Tottenham led for over an hour after Darren Anderton's early goal but Arsenal thanks to uh, well a, a spirited run by Thierry Henry that set up the goal for Perez and then the deflection off Stephen Carr after Ljungberg had shot get the victory with two goals in ten minutes that extends their lead at the top of the Premiership final score Arsenal 2 Tottenham Hotspur 1